parking on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too clutch. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man, a cheapskate hump? Niggas got to move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not flow. I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. As you guys have seen, I was um, traveling from Joburg to Cape Town. I just got to Rez and I'm so tired. It's so hot in here, I need to open the windows. But yeah, I hope that you guys do enjoy this vlog. Please do subscribe, comment and like this video. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is to write down a grocery list and then I'm gonna go to the mall and then get groceries. And then come back and rest. I have to study for my exam on Wednesday. Yeah, that's just the vibe of this vlog. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to take you guys some more with me. I'm still deciding. And by the way, I did my braids. One thing about me, I believe in curly braids. Braids with curly ends. But yeah, I'm about to go to the mall. Yo guys, it's so hot. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's just hot or... It's either it's hot or I'm just overdressed because I was trying to save space in the suitcase. I know this hoodie and these pants alone take up like half of the space in my suitcase. So I just had to overdress because I'm not trying to pay an extra 250 for luggage. Yeah. Guys, groceries are so expensive. We've decided not to eat this semester because after all, Food is not So I am back from the grocery store, actually pick and pay. I'm done doing groceries and you know what? This thing is like a reward. So I'm in the kitchen right now and I'm about to make dinner. I'm just gonna make chicken wraps because I don't wanna buy food because I'm a changed person. I'm in my budgeting era. These are the ingredients. Obviously I still have to chop up onions and green pepper, but yeah, I use chicken breasts and I recently found this garlic and it's crushed garlic with chili flavor. I haven't tried this one, so I'm gonna try it today. And this is the this is the wrap and yeah so these are the spices that i'm using it's this um pink himalayan salt my mom actually put me on and black pepper and italian herbs and chicken spice i wanted to show you guys the whole process of me cooking but obviously i couldn't because there were other people in the kitchen with me and it just felt somehow filming and these other people around but yeah this is the final product and these are too good hi guys so it is a tuesday night you guys haven't seen much of me because i've been busy with school and have an exam tomorrow but i'm currently um cooking chicken peri peri chicken livers and i'm just gonna take you guys through that and yeah and these are the ingredients i'm going to use i'm gonna use cream um i bought crushed chilies and it's this garlic guys this garlic is so good it's garlic mixed with chili and then i have black pepper and chicken spice and this pink salt okay so now i'm going to saute the onion and the green pepper while doing that i'm going to add my different the different spices that i showed you guys and then once your onion and green pepper have sauteed um together with the spices you just add back your chicken livers 
and then you basically just like also fry them and then later on that's when you add the, uh, the cream So this is the final product with the cream added to the chicken livers. I also bought garlic rolls to have these with. So if you are interested in budget meals, then I would definitely recommend this meal because the chicken livers were like 16 rand if I'm not mistaken. And the garlic rolls were like 20 together with your spices. I think it's less than 100 rand. So I have a sign language exam tomorrow. And that's what I'm trying to prepare for. Guys, honestly, sign language, you know, like, it's not that difficult. It's just, I feel like there's just a lot to remember. But otherwise, it's not that difficult because you learn how to associate words with actions. You know how um, if someone asks you a question and you will say maybe, sometimes you'll be like, that's maybe in sign language. So it's not that difficult. It's just that there's a lot to remember. And also, like, the difficult thing with sign language, na, is that you can't just direct translate from English because then to the person that uses sign language as a mode of communication, they wouldn't understand that if you used direct translation. It's like with Afrikaans, you can't just go use google translate because obviously google translate is going to give you a direct translation like there are certain rules that you need to follow in order to construct a sentence in using sign language So for people that are like me and also have sign language as one of their courses, I found this really useful um, website. It's called therealsouthafricanlanguage.com. You can literally just type whatever word that you want to sign and then you press go. And then it's going to give you like a video demonstration of how to sign the specific word that you wanted to sign. So it's A, B, C, D. E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Hi guys. So today is Wednesday and I'm about to go write my sign language exam in like two hours and i'm just doing like some final revision and just making sure that i know all the signs properly and i'm gonna show you guys how to introduce k well how i introduce myself in sign language and um what i'm studying and where i come from okay so hello my name is n a t a s h a and my surname is N D L O V U. I study audiology. I come from Gauteng. That's an intro. Okay, so I'm about to make a smoothie. Um, I'm just gonna use crap, not crushed, I mean frozen pineapples, frozen strawberries, add them to the bottle of the blender. And then I'm going to use strawberry yogurt and um, ice cubes. And then it's just going to mix everything. And this is how the smoothie looks like. And it's too good. Hi guys, I don't remember when I last spoke to y'all. But today is a Saturday and my friend and i decided to go to this cute um brunch i don't know if it's a brunch spot or it's a cute cafe but yeah we decided to go there um i want to show you guys my outfit i hope this works okay so wait let me just fix it okay so the top is from the fix the bag you guys already know it mr prize the jacket 
is from True It's Fashion. And let me just do this. And the tights are from True It's Fashion. And the shoes are from Woolies. It's my OOTD. And we want to take as much pictures as we can. Because guys, we're never going to be 20 again. We're never going to be 21 again. We're never going to be in university again, you know. So we just want to capture all these memories and just have something to look back at once we've all left this place. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe and Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder I wonder